everyone, it's Jillian, and in today's video, I thought it would be so fun to show you how you can give your locker a complete makeover, and I'm gonna show you so many fun DIYs that you can do to give it a whole new look. So the first thing I would recommend doing is cleaning out everything from your locker so you can start with a blank canvas. Now, the first thing I decided to do was to add some wallpaper to the back of the locker just to make it a bit more colorful. So I just took some wrapping paper and cut it to size. Then I cut out two cute little locker rugs just to make it nice and fluffy and cute and add another texture in there. And I just cut up an old rug that I had and this worked perfectly. So on to the first DIY, we are going to be making a locker light. I think this is such a good idea because it is so dark in a locker and it's time to brighten it up, especially so we can see all of our fun DIYs. So you're going to need a battery operated light just like this one. And then I'm just making a little lampshade for it to make it look a little bit more cute. So I just went ahead and painted this cardboard pot. I think it was meant to be like a plant pot, but I cut it down so that it would be a perfect lampshade. So I just picked out a color scheme and began painting it and then I added some cute little pom-poms. Then just go ahead and secure the light inside the lampshade and I also added a magnet so I could attach it to the locker and it means that I can move it around and take it with me when I'm finished with the locker. And it turned out so perfect. I've just placed it up the top and it totally lit up the top shelf and added so much light. Next up, it's time to add some cute decor to this locker. So we're going to be making a cute little bunting. So I started off by making a template just so that all my little triangles would be the same size. So I just went ahead and cut out a triangle and then I grabbed a bunch of different colors of paper and this is where you can have so much fun with adding color to your locker so I just went ahead and would fold a piece in half and then I would trace my little triangle and then cut these little triangles out and then you should have little diamond pieces and this is perfect because it means that our bunting is a double-sided So then you just need some string and I went with this really pretty blue and white string and then using a glue stick I just glued the little triangles onto the bunting and I love how cute and tiny this is but it's so effective on the locker and I just attached it to the front of the locker shelf as you can see here. It's really lovely and I'm so happy with it. In a locker, it is so important to have storage, whether you want to store your school supplies or makeup or snacks. So I thought we would make some cute storage and I found these little wooden crates and they were very plain. So I went in with some fun paint and started painting the crates all different colors. I just wanted this to be so fun and colorful and I was so happy with how it turned out. Once the crates were all painted, I thought they looked a little bit plain, so I decided to add some cute little 3D stickers to the front, and I've been wanting to use these stickers for so long, and I was so happy to finally have a purpose for them. You could also put labels here of whatever is inside the crate. Then I just popped these in the locker, and now we have some cute little storage, and it's so unique. Now I wanted my locker to be a happy place filled with lots of color and just everything I love and I love fake plants so I decided to decorate a cute little terracotta pot and place it in my locker. So I painted this one to look like a pineapple because I just think pineapples are happy and cute and of course I had to add a cute little face and then I added some pink rhinestones for the cheeks and then some little spikes with a sharpie and then I just placed a fake succulent in the pot and placed it in my locker. It made me so happy opening my locker and seeing this cute little pineapple pot smiling back at me. I wanted to continue the fruit theme onto the locker door, so I took these little round cardboard boxes and decided to paint them to look like fruits. So this first one is painted to look like a lemon, and then the other one I painted to look like a watermelon. Now, I also sealed this all in with some Mod Podge just to protect the paint, and it also gives it a really nice finish. To attach these to the locker door, I just used some hot glue to attach magnets to the back of the boxes and then these were perfect for the locker doors and you can put whatever you like inside here. I've just got some stationery and then I just attached it to the locker door and I love the pops of colour. These turned out so cute and I was so happy with them. 
Another helpful thing to have in your locker is a mirror so you can check if you've got anything in your teeth or if your mascara is running halfway down your face. So I decided to make this mirror a little bit more special so I took some colourful rhinestones and just went all the way around with the rhinestones and I loved the rainbow effect and then again added a magnet and then I can move it around the locker. I really wanted a cute place to pin my little notes and reminders if I have any homework due or assignments so I decided to make a adorable little cork board. So I started off with this super thick piece of foam and just cut out a pencil shape and then I took some cork material I just found this at the craft store and I traced around the pencil shape so they're both the same size and then just take some glue and attach the cork piece to the foam piece and now we have the base of our cork board so it's time to paint this to look more like a pencil because at the moment it's just a weird shaped object <laughs> so I just took some paint and began painting this to look like a usual pencil I went with the typical pencil look so everyone would know what it was <laughs> so I went ahead and painted it and then for the metal part on the pencil I decided to use silver glitter just because I felt like the locker needed a touch of glitter and then attach some magnets to the back and now we have a cute little cork board. Another way to display important reminders is using pegs. So first just go ahead and paint the pegs and I went with some bright colours that I've already used in the locker so it all ties in and then I just took some more of those 3D stickers and placed them on each of the pegs and I thought this looked so cute. Then taking some magnets and a hot glue gun, I attached a magnet to the back of each peg so we can secure it to the locker. And you guys, I need all the help I can get with remembering what is due and when it's due. So I make sure to have all these little spaces around my locker where I can put reminders. An easy way to make fun, creative magnets is to take some novelty erasers like these ones, and then you just need some little pieces of magnet. Then using hot glue, attach the magnet to the back of the eraser. And I just went ahead and did this a bunch of Time, so I had heaps of different magnets and I felt like this was a really awesome way to fill up blank spaces on my locker and to add color where it was looking kind of plain and these were so adorable I had them all over my locker and they were cute and practical now what you've all been waiting for it is time to see what all these DIYs look like together so this is the before of the locker it's all sad and miserable and plain and this is the after <music> enjoyed today's video if you haven't yet subscribed don't forget to click the subscribe button before you leave so you never miss when I upload a new video thank you all so much for watching I love you all so so much and I will see you all in my next video bye